join by so uh, i just wanted to ask that actually there are a lot of options to do right now like i was just thinking that uh, there are some byqs uh, there is uh, lots of mocks that we have not attempted like uh, some of the take home ones or the ones that uh, were not proctored other than that there is also uh, the time for revising notes and all and also to go through the previous mocks that we have already attempted but uh, just trying to see what mistakes we make and all so i was just kind of confused like uh, how should i prioritize it so like if you had to say that two things out of these that we should do in the last 30 days so which would it be i would tell you one thing okay if you have not attempted previous years papers uh, solve them uh, you have to take mocks regularly by that i mean you have to take one uh, from now there are 30 days left right i want you to take around say eight mocks seven eight mocks uh, in this 30 days space them out that is one thing second thing is i also want you to solve all the previous years questions they are very important man okay in other than uh, mocks i would say they are the most important thing solve as many questions from previous years papers as possible okay start from 2024 and go back 2024 all the three slots you can avoid 2023 because i think it is just a extremely difficult paper it makes like it will be just demotivating for the no upside people will just lose confidence by solving the quant section of 2023 i don't expect the paper this year to be that difficult so just avoid 2023 but after 2024 you can go back 2024 2022 2021 and so on so solve as many questions as you can they are a very good source of uh, questions and you should use it like i mentioned earlier some of the mocks might be either very difficult i hear about some of our competitors that some of the papers are some of the mocks are just crazy difficult okay some we have a lot of cat aspirants in our office so we discuss and many of them unanimously agree that one of the competitors papers mocks are crazy difficult and then i feel what is the point of that if you are taking that mock if you are just feeling demotivated then what is the point of taking that mock you don't even gain anything so instead of wasting time uh, doing those things i would say solve all the previous questions definitely okay as many as you can the more you spend time solving previous questions the better it is you should not feel that okay is it a good use of time or not it is always a good use of your time okay except cat 2023 every other previous year questions after cat 2017 because the pattern changed drastically around 2017 so after 2017 till 24 with the exception of 2023 i would say solve as many questions as you can once you finish all of it then you can look for other sources uh, that is the first thing another thing i would tell you is uh, take seven eight mocks don't take a lot of mocks towards the last three four days one other thing i would tell you is try to picture yourself on the day of the examination try to mentally prepare yourself on the day of the examination because on the day of the examination if you see the people in the examination hall you can see the nervousness or anxiety on their faces okay everybody is nervous uh, unanimously but you should be less nervous than most of the people you should feel uh, because you should be prepared for it and you will be prepared for it if you think about it if you picture yourself before taking every mock all the things that i actually mentioned these are the three things i would tell you to do